policy. The controversial Murfreesboro Mosque site has gained local and national attention, and today opponents of the site had their day in court. News Channel 5's Nicole Ferguson tells us what happened on day one of the hearing. Well, the big question here is, will this judge grant an injunction to stop the mosque from being built? The plaintiffs claim their security has been put at risk, and that's how they're shaping their witnesses to testify. And attorneys defending the county say, hey, the county followed the law by issuing building permits, and an injunction is not what these folks should be seeking. Day one in the hearings that will determine whether an injunction may be filed to stop building permits from being issued for the Murfreesboro Mosque site. The plaintiffs, a group of Rutherford County citizens, claim the county commissioners unlawfully approved the site. Arbitrary, planned, and deliberate behavior to examine the multiple uses of the ICM site and the risk of actions promoting jihad and terrorism are not entitled to constitutional protection. The county argues against accusations the commissioners acted in fear. What the county officials did clearly, and, and the proof will ultimately establish, is followed the law. First up to the stand Monday was Frank Gaffney, president of the Center for Security Policy in Washington. Gaffney accused the backers of the Murfreesboro site of supporting Sharia, claiming their activities should be worrisome to the community. Um, I see several things that are red flags from a security point of view. Gaffney claimed 80% of mosques in America are financed by a Saudi Islamic trust tied to a group he believes local leaders are associated with. Because it is a product of the Muslim Brotherhood, uh, it is generally very um, inimical to the Constitution of the United States, the, I believe, security interests of the United States as well. After day one, county attorneys still maintained they didn't understand why they were in court and not anyone involved in the construction of the actual site. If you're going to stop somebody from building something you're objecting to, they should have been before the court. For us to be restrained now, we don't think it serves any purpose whatsoever. Of course, the county attorneys say they're not encouraging those involved in the building of the site be sued. They just say in this particular case, it, it's directed toward the wrong party. All right. Thanks, Nicole. Now, 31 members of the Planning Commission and County Commissioners were subpoenaed along with the county mayor. They're expected to be called to testify tomorrow.